Since the early days of COVID-19, many of us have been rightly skeptical of the media's narrative of its origins. Our next guest has firsthand experience working in China during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the few brave people on the planet who has spoken out against the Chinese government for its response here. Joining us now is independent coronavirus expert, Dr. Li Mengyan. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Thank you, Benny. Thank you for having me. This must be a remarkable moment for you. Early on, a year ago or more, you were sounding the alarm about the origins of COVID and how it is probable, if not very, very possible, that this was an engineered virus from a lab. You were ripped off of social media for saying that. Anyone who posted your content was deplatformed and perhaps banned, and you were called pants on fire by PolitiFact. But yet today, now, everyone seems to be sounding like you, doctor, in questioning the Wuhan Institute of Virology and the origins of this virus. How does that feel? Uh, actually, I, I know this day will come finally. Just I'm not sure, I mean, in the beginning, when I start to expose all the things through me, uh, Mr. Luda's YouTube channel back to last January. I'm not sure whether I would see that day because I know this truth is the most seen Chinese Communist Party government scared of, and they will recruit all the powerful and all the power and all uh, what they can do to stop this information being known by the public. So I know there would be attacks no matter online or live street hands on, uh, offlines, and I know I'm in danger. But luckily, now I say this day comes, and I say it goes very well, and I say people are so smart, they realize the truth is the virus, COVID-19 virus, come from the lab in Wuhan, and behind it is the whole Chinese government's effort to make the non-traditional bioweapon to attack the world. Yeah, they were celebrating their trophy, you see that but we will stop it. We won't let them win. Incredible, incredible. The people listening on our program are probably familiar with you, but for those who are not, can you give them a background on your work in China and why you have such authority to speak on this issue? Uh, just briefly, because I was a, a virologist work in the WHO reference lab in the University of Hong Kong for over five years, and my colleagues are the top coronavirus expert in the world, and they are the WHO core team members. So that's why at the beginning of the outbreak back to 31st December 2019, since the new pneumonia came out in Wuhan, but China government doesn't allow any information come out, I was assigned into the secret investigation to using my own network and get the information about this new virus happened in China. And they want this information to be known to the world. But when the expert understand that there was so much, uh, you know, uh, disciplines from China government and they are scared. Also, some of them involved into the study of this novel bioweapon. So finally, they suppressed my voice and they want me to be silent. If not, if I cross the red line, I would be disappeared. But as an MD medical doctor and also a scientist, I realized based on my exper uh, experience and also the knowledge, the intelligence I got, I know what it is. I know this is a novel bioweapon, which may not meet, uh, let people die immediately in a very high rate, but it will destroy the society if you don't control it on in time. So that's why finally I managed to deliver all this message out through Mr. Luther's YouTube on 19th January, which make China gun scared because they say some people point out the backbone of this virus is from PLA and they have to conduct the quick, uh, all the measurement, including admit human to human transmission, admit they are covering up, and also finally lock down Wuhan. Doc, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a virologist. Um, what you're saying here 
it sounds absolutely horrifying. I've heard you say it before you were just written off by our corporate media and medical establishment. Uh, but now many are coming to the conclusion that this needs to be studied and studied severely. Will they find this to be true? What will they find when we get done with 90 days of research from our intelligence organizations here in America? Will they come to this conclusion, doctor? Uh, I really hope they can conclude the, uh, reach the clear conclusion within 90 days. First, I have present enough evidence, including scientific evidence and also intelligence evidence through my three published reports. And also, I have given a lot of other information through media. And now, uh, we also know that uh, there is a PLA textbook, which have some uh, clearly mentioned back to 2015 in an open way. I mean, they tell it as an open secret to the people. There will be the uh, novel bioweapon uh, developed based on coronavirus, and which can be looks like nature occurring. The important thing is to deny, to spread misinformation once people realize it's from the lab. So what we need to do is we need to collaborate with more and more scientists or professional people and together with our uh, public to show the evidence, to show the people, let people understand this is really the bioweapon, the novel bioweapon, unrestricted bioweapon made by PLA, not only one lab, not only Wuhan lab, they do a lot of things. They donate money and effort to develop it to harm the whole world. And it is intentionally released, not the lab leak. We need to show this evidence. We need to work together. And we need to stop the pandemic as soon as possible and hold the Chinese government accountable. Very quickly, doctor, last question because we are out of time. Have you been contacted by American intelligence? Have you been contacted? By, any, by the NIH, by anyone who may be studying the coronavirus origins? Actually, what I can tell you now is from the first day I came to U.S., FBI, Homeland, and other people that contact me. And I do believe that they have uh, collected information and uh, listening to my word, but I hope more people can do it. And also, yes, yeah, there were like bioweapon experts. They totally agree with my work and also like uh, Dr. Navarro and also uh, Ms. Bannon, all these people, they try to help people understand what happened. There are many people work uh, to promote this truth to the public, but we do need more people to get involved. And yes, people from even NIH turn to me, the ones previously told people that it's from nature and even try to uh, rebut me in New York Times or say, uh, now they turn to me, they admit uh, that this is lab origin and they want to get my suggestion. And I'm happy to provide my knowledge and the information to people, whoever want to know the truth. The truth is what we need now more than ever. And experts like yourself, people who are truly brave, you are truly brave, doctor. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We uh, certainly support your research and your truth. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Benny. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that China is a global menace and a threat to all of us, to you and your family. Joining us now is a man who has been sounding the alarm on China for a very long time, ahead of his time. Author of The Great U.S.-China Tech War and The Coming Collapse of China, Gordon Chang joins us now. Gordon, thanks so much for being on The Benny Report. Well, thank you, Benny. What's it feel like to be vindicated now? Suddenly, all of the corporate medical, scientific, and media establishment are saying what you have been saying for a very, very long time, that China has been hiding the ball when it comes to the COVID origin story, and that they have not been honest, and that people have died as a consequence. This is a serious situation, because China, whatever the origin of this disease, and it's most likely came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, but whatever the origin, Benny, we know that Chinese leader Xi Jinping took steps to deliberately spread this beyond China's borders. For at least five weeks, he lied about contagiousness, telling the world it was not when he knew that it was. And he pressured countries to not impose travel restrictions and quarantines on arrivals from China when he was locking down his own country. So if it wasn't a biological weapon to start out with, he turned it into one. 
And by the way, the reason why I'm concerned is because there's been no cost imposed on China for this. And that means he, there's no deterrence, which means he could easily spread the next disease because he feels he can get away with it again. That's grotesque and shocking, alarming. You think that this could happen once more because presumably I have no one has seen anything as a result of a consequence for China. In fact, if you look at which countries have done spectacularly well in the year 2020, China was one of them and perhaps the only country in the world. Yeah, China had a really good 2020. And we know that diseases come from China regularly. But what I'm concerned about is that the next disease is a design pathogen for sure. And it's one that will leave the Chinese immune, but sicken and kill everybody else. We know that China's leaders are thinking about this because the 2017 edition of the Science of Military Strategy, which is an authoritative publication of China's National Defense University, actually talks about a new type of biological warfare of, quote, specific ethnic genetic attacks. In other words, this could be a civilization killer. It could leave China as the world's only viable society. And so we've got to be concerned about the future of our republic. Yeah, that's it's completely ghoulish when you look into the research that was being done at the Wuhan Virology Lab and the gain-of-function research through horseshoe bats, and you look at the genetic code of the COVID virus, it becomes so clear. Why just now? Why just now does it see, is our entire establishment, scientific, medical, and media, suddenly taking this lab leak theory seriously? Yeah. That's a great question, and I don't have an answer for it, except the only thing I can say is that over the last several months, there's been drip, drip, drip information pointing to a lab leak. And I guess we hit a tipping point with that Wall Street Journal story, which said that three researchers at the Wuhan Institute fell ill with uh, symptoms like COVID um, in November of 2019. I think that actually just sort of caught everybody's attention. Also, um, you know, we had uh, Dr. Fauci grilled by Rand Paul, the Kentucky Republican senator. And I think that also brought to people's attention that the U.S. probably was funding China's biological weapons program. And so, you know, when you put those two things together, I think that, the, you know, I don't know, it's just the light bulb went on. Yeah, it's it's sinister. I mean, it's sinister. It's Bond villain level stuff, and it's happening right now, and our tax dollars are funding it. Thank you so much for speaking out, Gordon. Please continue to do so. We need more clarity in this moment. Well, thank you, Benny. I really appreciate this opportunity. That does it for us here at The Benny Report. America is the greatest country in the world. America is worth fighting for, so keep memeing, keep criticizing, keep thinking, and keep fighting. We here at The Benny Report are fighting right alongside with you. See ya. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.